What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviator super hat and welcome to the modern ninja. Now, today is the next episode of our tutorial series where I take one giant combination and break it down into digestible parts throughout the month so that at the end of the month you have a full, super cool, nice combo that you can show off to your friends or do for, you know, whatever reason you really want to. Now today I have a special one for you. It's going to be three, two, one. Zero, ignition, lift off, lift off, 30 minutes after the end. Baby, perfect. Okay, so let's slow down for a second because this is DJ in the editing chair. See, chair, um, editing. It is what it is. But the reason I'm pausing is because part of my footage was glitched. And so now I have to re-record some of the more important things in the beginning of the video that I wasn't able to salvage. That's rough, buddy. But that's okay, I got my sword right here, so let's talk. See, I'm not even wearing my glasses. This is totally unscripted. But I want you to know these are dangerous things to do with swords. Call Kenny Loggins, cause you're in the danger zone. <sighs> from Top Gun. Just be careful. And so I highly, highly advise you not doing this with a real sword. If you want a sword, like mine, after I hit my uh, headphones there, if you want a sword like mine, definitely check out Century Martial Arts and get the XMA Tricking Swords. These swords are dull, so you don't actually hurt yourself. If you don't know how to get to the site, don't worry, I already did it for you. It's linked down below in the description, and I'm so nice that I left a discount code for you to use down there. It's Ninja 10 for those of you that are asking. But if you don't wanna spend some money on a new demo sword, then that's okay. Just use a PVC pipe, a dowel rod, a stick, something you can find that is about the same length as a sword. Uh, obviously for this particular move, you're gonna need a, a sheath that you can work pretty well. So still consider it, but it's okay. You'll be able to do the rest of this combination if that's not the case and you're not ready to buy a sword yet. Now going into the first part of the trick, the unsheathing part, you're gonna wanna remember something. Swords have this little segment right here that help it fit snug into your sheath. And that's not what we need for the trick. We actually need to use our thumb to unhook the sword before we can do our trick. So just use your thumb and push so that your sword is no longer, you know, stuck and it's able to slide freely as opposed to not being able to slide freely. That way when you do your pull, you can actually do a correct pull and a, and it actually slide out of the sheath as opposed to just kind of swinging your sheath around. Because yeah, that's kind of an important part of the trick, not gonna lie. And another extremely important part of this trick, man, I don't know if you could do it without it, is making sure you hit the subscribe button. I'm, again, trying to get to 75,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So hit me with that HBO special. So help brother out, drop a like, comment, subscribe if you wanna see more of my content. And if you really wanna support me, Check out some of the merch. If you're watching this, you are a Ninja Fam, so why not rep a Ninja Fam backpack or a Ninja Fam shirt like I'm wearing in the rest of the video. Go, that, that was your cue. That was your cue, editing DJ, go. Now, what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna make sure you pull straight out before you spin. It is important to pull straight out, otherwise you're going to twist and it's not gonna actually come out. It's gonna get stuck at the tip of your sword just like that. Hey, phrasing! So in order to keep that from happening, you want to pull straight out, just like this. And it's a quick thing. There's no slow motion version. Like you can't do this slowly. If you do it slowly, it's just gonna move. You, by the nature of the trick, you have to pull quickly and catch just like that. Now, as far as your catch goes, there's the easy one where you just pull and catch it just like that. It's just a simple bang. You grab it, keep it from hitting the ground, and then you can do your, your spin, right? Or if you wanna do it a little bit more flashy, you can actually turn and catch it behind your back and all that is is pulling turning and waiting for it to fall in your hand but regardless of how you do it you're going to end up with your sword in one hand and your sheath in the other and then i like to just add a nice spin to get to my next pose this is basically like the Power Ranger warm up just before you go into the super cool combination. And for those of you that are a little bit confused by how that looks, all it is is your sword coming around your head and down 
and this hand coming circling here just like that and all that together looks like that and then you can drop your teeth grab your sword of two hands and you're ready to begin the next set of the combo however if you want to learn the next set of this combination make sure you go to subscribe to my channel because i'll be posting the next episode next week like i said we're breaking down the combo into chunks and then going throughout the month so that at the end of the month you'll have the combo before i let you go i want to let y'all know that you are the greatest ninja fan a dude could ask for so if you want to help rep the channel then check out the, the merch link down below where you could get your Ninja Fam merch and some other things like buy like a superhero or Apocalypse Squad. So definitely check that out if you're interested. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja and I'm out.